the first word that we're going to go over here is to become something else. This is a nice picture, right? It's the picture of the same thing. It's changing. It's changing from this little uh, piece here. You can see the butterfly is coming out. So the caterpillar used to be here, but the caterpillar changes, becomes something else. What does it do? It turns into, it turns into a butterfly. To turn into means to change from one thing to another. The caterpillar, caterpillar, you know the caterpillar, the, the little green insect that crawls around, looks like a worm. The caterpillar turns into a butterfly, a beautiful butterfly. And that's what turn into means, to change. Okay, next word. Number two. These are very pretty rocks, aren't they? Very nice looking rocks. What are they? They are a special type of rocks, an important part of rocks. They are minerals. Now these are large, you know, they're kind of big, right? But when plants grow in dirt, right, the plants take the minerals up from the dirt and the minerals are in the plants. When we eat the plants, we eat some minerals, very small, very small pieces of minerals, but they're good for our bodies. We need those things. We need minerals and we need vitamins. So minerals are an important part of rocks. They're also good for us, but don't eat these. You'll break your teeth, right? Just eat the plants. You can't see the minerals in the plants, but they're good for you. Okay, next word. Oh, it's too bad, it's sad. Here's a fish. The fish is out of water. The fish cannot live out of water, so it's not alive. What's another word that means not alive? The word, of course, is dead. Dead. The fish is dead. So something that is not alive is dead. Okay, the next word, number four. Here we have a picture of a lot of dirt, but there's also some plants here, right? And we have this uh, definition to break down to break down. If you imagine that this is a lot of plants, or maybe we could put some old fruit, like some old apples or some old oranges on top of there, and after a while, it begins to smell, right? Because what is it doing? It is rotting, to rot. This is a verb. To rot means to break down, and usually things get, oh, they get smelly, right? And they break down over time, and they go back into the dirt. They go back into the soil to rot, to break down. Okay, the next word. Look at these guys. They're having fun, right? They were hiking all day. Now they are at the highest position in the mountains. Where are they? They are on the top, on the top, on the top, right? They are on the top of the mountain. So top is the highest in position. It's the top thing, the thing that is on top, right? To be on the top, top. Okay, number six, uh, the gas that we breathe. <sighs> Right? If you breathe, you can feel the wind, right? The wind is gas. What is that gas? It's all around us. We breathe it. We need it so that we don't die, so that, so that we stay alive. What is it? It's called air. Air. Air is all around us, right? It's the gas that we breathe. Remember, we can't really see the gas. The gas is very light. We can move around in it, right? Uh, but we breathe it. That's the gas that we're breathing. That's called air. Okay, next word. Number seven, to keep in place. Okay, this is an interesting picture. Somebody has a strong grip on their money, right? Ton, <laughs> okay, because <laughs> it's very important. But what are they doing? If you have like beguan or obeguan in your hand, you don't want to lose it. You put it in your hand, you close your fingers around it. What are you doing? What is that verb? Hold. You are holding your money. 
Also, when you go on the street and you're walking on a busy street, hold your mother's hand. Hold your father's hand because you don't want to get on the street. It could be dangerous. Hold your brother's hand or your sister's hand to take care of them. Okay? So you hold. Now, this is an a, a irregular verb. It changes. So we say hold, held, held. Right? Hold is a present tense. Held, past tense, and held, PP. Right? Hold, held, held. Okay, good. Next word. I kind of talked about this before a little bit when I talked about air. I said air is all around us in all places. Another word we could use, everywhere. Whew, that's a big word, right? Everywhere. That's a really big word. If you look at the sand, right, there is sand. Sand is a type of dirt, by the way, but sand is not good dirt. Things don't grow well in sand, but in the desert, Sand is everywhere, right? Right now, air is everywhere, right? Okay, so everywhere, in all places, everywhere around us. Okay, next word. Number nine, at a lower place. So here we see a man, he's sitting by a tree. The tree is very tall, right? The branches and the leaves are on top. There, they're on top. Where is he? He is below. He's below the branches and the leaves. He is below. So I could say, here is a pen, right? Here is my hand. The pen is below my hand. Okay? So below, at a lower place. Number 10. Ugh, kind of slimy, right? I said slimy. Slimy is... Uh, you know, it's a little wet and it's a little uh, soft, right? That's slimy. Ugh. Do you want to pick up that worm? I'm sure the girls in the audience, they don't want to pick up that worm. The boys are like, yeah, let's pick up the worm, right? Okay, but it's a little slimy, right? And we can see this worm in the dirt, which is very wet. It's also slimy. But when we see a mix of rotting stuff and soil, so imagine that there's like old... Uh, fruit on the top, right? It's just kind of rotting and, and breaking down. Uh, and it's a mix of that stuff and soil. There's a special word we use for it. It's a little hard to pronounce, but look at this word. It's humus. Hue. Humus. Two sounds. Two sounds. Humus. Humus. So we say humus. That is the mix of rotting stuff and soil. Good for growing plants, okay? Now, here we have an interesting picture. We have many green apples. They're a little sour, right? Green apples are a little sour. And then we have one red apple. It's a little more sweet, right? When we say not the same, there's many words that mean not the same. We're gonna look at one word here is other, right? These are the, all the green apples. I, the other apple is red. I have many green apples, but the other apple is red. So something that is not the same as other, as, as the, what you have, that is the other, right? When you're saying something is different, not the same, the other. Okay. Having a special use. Something that has a special use, what do we call that? we can say it's important, right? Here we have a picture of a little girl and she's getting ready for bed, maybe she's praying, and she has a little teddy bear with her, right? The teddy bear is very important to the girl. What is important in your life? Do you have a toy that is your favorite toy? It's very important to you. Maybe you have a book that you like to read. That book is important. But also think about your family. Your family members are very important. Your mom is important. Your dad is important. Your brothers and sisters, I know sometimes we fight, but they're important to you too. These are things that have uh, not just a special use, but a special value to you. They are important. Okay. 